Okay, good morning ladies and gentlemen. Last morning in Bangkok. As you can see, I'm at Dongmung International Airport and it's time to leave Thailand after quite some time. It's kind of mixed feelings for me. I'm like sad but excited for the new adventure as well. Um, we're actually not going to be coming to Thailand for quite some time. Maybe I might have a cheeky trip over for Songkran, but we will see. I'm sure some of you have guessed where we're going, but you will see where I arrive by the end of this video. So let's go and get checked in. And yeah, on to the new adventure. You just have to scan the passport there. That's a bit of a travel hack for you guys who travel with big luggage. Always book with Air Asia if you go from like Dong Mung, they have the kiosk, you can just check in like that quickly online and no one weighs your bag, so you get away with a few extra kilograms. I love the way they got these robots going around cleaning the airports in Thailand. I messed up, I should have ate in 7-Eleven before I come in the taxi this morning, but I woke up a bit late so a bit of a rush just picked up a subway from the airport which I don't recommend doing a six inch subway costs like 260 baht it's like over six dollars nearly nearly seven or eight dollars for this the airport food's always robbery better to eat before you go This is it guys, leaving Thailand. Oh, I feel really like weird this morning, especially like when I left Soy 4 and I saw some of the old faces as I was leaving because I'm used to seeing them every day and now obviously um, I've been going and coming back a lot, but this time I'm gonna be gone for quite some time. Okay, I suppose while we're chilling in the airport, I can discuss why I stayed in Thailand for so long and why I think so many other foreigners choose Thailand as maybe a place to relocate or move to. Obviously, there's a lot of cons to living there, but there's a lot more pros in my opinion than cons. Some of the main pros, not to go into too much detail, just like convenience of staying there like you can get the train system pretty much everywhere in the city so you don't need to like really rent any motorbikes you can just use the public transport they've got the sky train the underground metro and just like different train lines running all through the city and number two what i'm definitely gonna miss is the food and what I mean by that is in Bangkok, like I've lived there guys on and off now for like four years and the food's just incredible, you know, you can get all different types of street foods. I literally in my condo, I never cooked, I ate every day, breakfast, lunch and dinner. You can eat like the cheapest street foods, you can go to like food night markets, just like so much variety and choice of food, like you can literally eat a different menu every day so i will really miss the food and also in the area state just the amount of different cuisines there from around the world like in soy arab you can get all your like arabic indian food all that type of stuff so yeah we'll really miss convenience and food maybe not too many people come into thailand no is it's really handy as well guys the pharmacies in thailand you can actually get any tablets you want without a prescription which comes in quite handy sometimes because you know like when you've got like crackling on your chest or you're coughing and you know you've just got a chest infection you can just go to the pharmacy here and get antibiotics over the counter you don't need to get pr prescriptions so it's handy the main thing I'm gonna miss is the like lifestyle you get for the cost of living it's like pretty incredible really for a major city here in Asia you can get like really nice condominiums with rooftop pools like top class facilities all of this like from way under a thousand US dollars so 
you get to live a pretty good lifestyle out here for relatively cheap if you compare with like US, Australia and UK. So yeah, like that will be missed and like people who maybe have never been to Bangkok before might think like, oh, you know, but Bangkok's very, might think Bangkok's not quite developed. I, I still hear people say this, but like those who have been to Bangkok will just know it's like super modern now, like all these big luxury shopping malls, it's like pretty clean. I've seen a big change in Bangkok, even though going there for over the last 10 years, I've seen a big change. It's just like, gets more like high class and high end every time I go near enough, so. But it still keeps its like culture with the like street food and the hustle and bustle, so really nice vibe in the city, we'll miss it a lot. It's not a goodbye forever guys, just a goodbye for now. Most of you would have guessed it, but we've arrived back in Manila and it's chaos at the airport. People running over just straight away, look how busy it over there, is over there. Everyone's like, taxi, taxi. So, I just opened up the Grab app and ordered a Grab for 400 peso. The taxi guys behind me were like, we'll take you one too. And I said, no, 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 um, what are you trying to do, rob the bank? And he was like, oh, go in the tricycle then. And I was like, oh, I'd want to be going in a Lamborghini for that price, my friend. So, always better just to get a grab. Hey, sir. Hi, how are you? Fine. <laughs> I'm saying that as the taxi drivers are walking past, but it's facts, guys. They just try and rinse you for some reason. Even though they've got a metered taxi thing over there. It's an absolute rip off. I don't know where they're getting their prices from. Okay guys, so I finally got in my grab. I landed at like 5 p.m. and it's now 6.30 by the time I got through immigration and got into the grab. So, not good to land in Manila during rush hour. Gotta go and find the hotel now and check in. Finally checked in to my room, so let's go and check it out. I've still got the bags on, so you're seeing it the same time as me, I was just stuck in the traffic in Manila, going five kilometers from the airport for about bloody two hours. Let's go and check out this room. Do, oh, they've, got the, they've got the do not disturb and make up the room there. It's all right, it's it's basic, but it's clean. The bathroom's all right. All right, look at that, sparkling clean. This looks brand new. Got the hot and cold shower, rain shower, norm, noodle head shower, whatever it's called. Toilet with the bum blaster. Let's test it. Bad pressure. That'll just tickle the butt. Yeah, nice, look how clean the toilet is as well. Like this is pretty clean place. Got a TV, little desk space. Nice and clean, not bad. Nice bed, decent mattress. Let's have a look if we got, a, oh, we've got a balcony. Got a little balcony too. Not much of a view. Just can see a few big buildings over there. I suppose can I suppose can hang the clothes out there, do some hand washing in the sink. Well guys, not a bad little spot. And yes, we are back in Manila. That's just kind of a bit of a travel day today. And I have come back to give Philippines another go. I'll kind of explain why probably in tomorrow's video. Um, I've got Oh, coffee though. Oh, they've got a safe down there too. So yeah, what I'm gonna do now is take a shower because I've been pretty much like traveling all day, you know, even though it's a short flight, you still have to wait in the airport and do all that nonsense. And immigration, the time it took from when I landed to now. So I landed at 5 p.m. guys, and I've arrived 
7.30. So not too bad, I suppose. I'm just in like Poblacion area by fill-in station where all the bars and clubs are. Kind of like Manila Sukhumwit, I suppose, in a way. Well, that's what I was told. But um, it's, yeah, it's like pretty much the same. Not as maybe busy as Sukhumwit, for example, but you do have like chicks and stuff standing around and following you and the guys come in selling the Viagra and stuff like that. But yeah, it's like pretty good. They've got some nice bars and restaurants, so I'm gonna try and find a restaurant to go and sit in and grab something to eat. Let's go. I stopped off in a place called Buccaneers. I forgot to actually video. I picked up some jerk chicken spring rolls, some potato wedges that I've nearly finished because I was so hungry. And I don't have Filipino beer here, so I'm drinking a bottle of Corona. So my first full day in Manila will be tomorrow. So we'll just see you tomorrow in the next video. Good night, ciao.